Hello, folks. Welcome to tonight's game. This one's going to be good between the LaSalle Explorers and the Duke Blue Devils. Dick, you've been in this situation as a coach. What do you tell your team when it looks like a mismatch on paper? I'll tell you what, when you're the underdog, you've got to come out and play with such fire. You've got to simply tell them upsets happen when a three-star player plays like a five-star player, plays with intensity, emotion, and passion. The Blue Devils should be able to play a lot of bodies tonight, Dick, as they're highly favored on paper. But what are the keys for them to win? Tonight, the keys are pretty simple. First, control the tempo of the game. I look for the point guard to be the floor general out there. Next, get the ball to your big man on the block early. That'll open up the perimeter game, baby. Lastly, get out of those shooters. Challenge every shot. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. Trying to feed inside. On the dribble, gives it up. The shooting guard receives the ball with a deep shot from outside. Trying to go inside. Here's a spin down to the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. Use the sky hook, the jump hook, and add a spin move to the goal. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So we're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Got a wide open look. Had him in the low block, but opted against it. And up, doesn't go. Launches away. Goes. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. He bombs from outside. Man, he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet J. The shooting guard handles the feed, dumps it in. Number 42 fakes the shot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. The power forward handles the pass. A high screen. Great play to take that to the basket. <laughs> Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Well, the defender goes down, but there's no call either way. Wow, no call right there. I think that was a good call, though, by the official. Perfectly executed. Dump it inside. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. They look to get it to the inside. He uses the shot fake. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. There's a slam. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. Number 12 receives the pass. Tries for two. The Blue Devils have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Takes the pass in the paint. He makes the shot. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. 
If I'm coaching, he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> he's pounding the ball to the deck. Where's he going? Kicks it out. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Very soft defensively, no pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. He hits it. From left of the circle, off the rim and no good. They're working around the perimeter. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? They work the perimeter. Shots there if he wants it. He shoots from long range. Way off target. Both teams looking to get things going here. Now they work it around the perimeter. On the inside. Basket falls despite the contact. that's on the floor is quick but so's the defense and they do a nice job trying to get that ball movement get that good spacing he didn't have the good angle they should have got it to him about a second earlier they work it around the perimeter puts up the tray makes it Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. Watch out. The five-second count is getting close, Brad. LaSalle are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, that will keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Here's a double team. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Trying to draw some contact. The land. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Stolen away. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. The Explorers have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Looking for a good shot. Looking for the foul. Knocks it down. That's a 10 nothing run. Let's go back out onto the floor. That one there should have been a foul call, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact right on the defensive player. The Blue Devils have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. 
He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Lost some ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Definitely a foul. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrew. Aaron? Well, down here on the sideline, shock has set into the arena. The coaches, the teams, and the fans can't believe what's going on. Thanks, Aaron. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Number 34 with the foul. First personal foul. Robs him of the ball. Number 10 is feeling good. He may be in the zone right now, Brad. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. <laughs> Trying to draw the foul. And he scores despite the hack. There's a bad pass right to the defender. They'll work it around the arc. Boy, terrible execution on offense. For the bucket. Look at that drive. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. What a Barishna puff right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Thinks about the shot. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. Gave it up. Here's the three ball. Nice shot. Both teams looking to get things going here. Controlling the ball. Great play to take that to the basket. On the outside. The skip pass is picked off. Entry pass in the paint. And he'll kick it back outside. Up fake. Here he is defensively, and this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely. Academy Award at its best. And now he's got a little something for the crowd. They're not going to like this. They're going to be offended. Brad, the players are feeling it, and they want everyone to know that they're feeling it. That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane, anticipating really well. Cross court. Fires away. Duke are on a run right here as of late, Nick. Yeah, they're starting to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. There they come with a double team to stop it. Makes the shot. High post screen, going to use it. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. They work the perimeter. High post screen. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as you know, points in the paint is a stat that coaches will readily look at, comparing their team's dominance in this category with oppositions. Establishing that inside presence is an important facet of consistent success. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. Let's watch the defense down in the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. 
Then he plays him where he gets good close position, so he's able to get the ball. But good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. On the dribble, gives it up. He was looking for the call, and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Pump thinks. The post flashes up high if he wants it. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. He shoots from the top of the key. For two, drains it. Look at that spacing. He shoots from left of the circle. He gets the shot to fall. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. The ball goes out of bounds. There's the fake. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Strips the ball. Look at speed. I tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. Wow, the energy in here is electric. He gets the rejection. Poor job on the offensive end. Great job defensively rotating to the basketball. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Now the high screen. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. He puts it in with contact and all. He intercepts it. Number 21 is pounded on his way up. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. At the free throw line. Opportunity. First shot is good. Duke is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. Oh, what a hard screen there. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Tries for two. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. There's a double team waiting there. Steal. From the top of the key. 
He's good for another score. Hands in his face anytime now, boys. This place will be in complete chaos if this defense can get a stop right here. Picks off the pass. Brad, this place will be deafening if they can score here. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. about ready for play to resume. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Nick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Up and inside. He attempts the three, can't get it to go. Jumps in, and he scores it off the glass. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever's necessary to help their team win. You can't forget about them. The winning humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Picked off. On the outside. Steals a pass. Working it around the perimeter. Gave it up from the top of the circle. Duke have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Takes away the pass. Takes the pass in the paint. Number 12 is whistled for the foul. He went for the steal in the post, and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. <laughs> defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity. I think really converts an offensive transition. And in and out. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? They go inside, and now back outside. I tell you, inside, outside action always works. Intercepted. Hey, as nice as that dunk was, the mascot may have stolen the show on that play. He was the most excited person in the arena. Picked out of the air. Shot clock is dead. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. At the half. The Explorers trail by nine. Nick, we've got a close one here tonight, my friend. Give us your highlight of the night so far. I picked this basket in a pain for the highlight of the first half. We saw lots of inside scoring in the first half, and I think it's going to be the key for both teams in the second half. Let's get back down to the action where it looks like the two teams are all set to start the second half. 
Duke found themselves shooting very well, Dick, in that first half. Hey, that's a true sign of a well-coached team and a mature team. And we don't see too many mature teams. They're not mature like you, Mr. Nestle. <laughs> All right, Dick, start of the second half. David versus Goliath. What do you expect? Well, I'll tell you what, in the second half, I expect them to really do a better job, the end of the door, of protecting the basketball. I think they got to do a better job because at the end of the first half, they started to really get away from the things they did earlier. Picks off the lazy pass. That's picked off. Hey, kids got great defensive court sense. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Jumped in front to take it away. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Strips the ball. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Now they work it around the perimeter. The Explorers have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. He shows the sweet touch. Great defensive play, anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. The Explorers are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. He sinks it. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Perfectly executed. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to buy him the ball. Pushing that basketball. He shoots from the top of the circle. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Picks off the pass. Gave it up. Goes up for two. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. Number three picks up the foul. There's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. High post flashes. Let's it fly. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. 
It's even more important to have talent to go on Yeah, that helps. Duke have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. On the inside. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. the perimeter takes the pass in the paint he beats him to the puck and has it rejected defense did a great job with the block shot looking for a good shot on the dribble gives it up for two tickles a twine the blue devils are ahead by eight Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Picked off. Gave it up. They work it around the perimeter. Number 11 is called for the foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Number three goes to the line for the first time. He hits the first shot. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. That's a nylon MBN. Tries for two. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Coming inside. Entry pass in the paint. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. They move it into the front court with the board. Getting that quick outlet pass is so important for the fast break. Steele go up the other way, get a layup. And now going the other way. He intercepts it. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Had a momentary look from three-point land with a bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. It looks as though they have a shooter spotting up. Moving it around the perimeter. The power forward. And they're going to count it. Determination, baby. Look out. He's in the face of the opposition. I don't know if all of that is necessary, Brad. One shot. Cashed it in. The Blue Devils' composure is falling even as we speak, Dick. That could be damaging to their overall performance. They've lost their composure, and that's a no-no. He rips the Nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. He looks for three. Goes. Number three. Now they work.
work it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Number 12 is charged with the foul. First personal foul. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. They work it around the perimeter. Tries to get the D to bite. Shoots from outside. Dick, they are loving it behind that line. Hey, as long as you're hitting, the loving is good, baby. Picked off. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. There's the trap. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Unloads. Off the rim and no good. Up and inside. Gets the ball and now faces his man down on the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. LaSalle are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Takes away the pass. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. They're rocking right now. My goodness. Dribble gives it up. Cameron Indoor Stadium is going wild. He was guarding him tightly, and then he went for the steal. An unsuccessful attempt resulting in a personal foul. If you get the steal, you're a hero. But you always run the risk of committing a foul when you go for that steal. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad, down here on the sidelines, I'm close to the favorites bench. Word coming from their huddles are, we've been in this situation before. Let's tighten up the defense and pull out a win. All right, thanks, Aaron. They work the perimeter. Goes up for two. He shields himself from the screen and scores the basket. He shoots from the top of the key. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. Now they'll bring it up. He gets the rejection. Here they come now on a turnover. For two, Duke are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Intercepted. There should be an easy bucket here. Tries for two. He drains the bucket. Working it around the perimeter. Top of the circle. Oh, yes. The Blue Devils lead by nine. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. He hammers it home. You can almost see that coming. They were a little bit lazy on the defensive end. 
Just through excitement with that jam. As the fans continue to chant. It really is something, isn't it? For the bucket, perfectly executed. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He tries the three ball. Dickey simply on fire. Hey, grow the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. Steals a pass. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented boards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Working around the arc. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. He takes the shot off the baseline. That's good. Watch the replay coming up. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. He's open if he wants the shot. They work it around the perimeter. From the top of the circle, number three hits the three. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Left of the circle. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. Double team now, bad angle. Number 42 with the theft. Too physical. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. He goes to the line for the first time. He makes it. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Gave it up. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Doesn't go. Up and inside. Obvious foul. Dick, we get a look here at the front court players and how they're performing. Who can dominate the paint is the question, Mr. Nestler. Sometimes the bigs get lost with all of the guard play, but to win consistently, you need to have a balanced attack inside and outside. And the ball goes out of bounds. Nick, let's take a look at right now at our backcourt production. Hey, team success depends on backcourt production, Brad. If you can handle the rock, make good decisions, penetrate, and knock down the open jumper, you give yourself a great opportunity to get to the winner's circle. Sinks the shot. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Oh, 
fakes a jumper. There they come with a double team to stop it. Stolen away. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Poor job defensively. Don't get back. Don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert. Get the number game going. Picked out of the air. On the dribble, gives it up. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. It's a fast break possibility. Great elevator man, man. That's the elevator guy. What a high riser. Gave it up. For two, they still don't score. They work it around the perimeter. Left of the circle, makes it. He shoots from the top of the key. He is just lighting it up, dude. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. On the inside. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. The center with the ball. On the outside. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Kicks it out. He shoots from right of the circle. He buries the shot. The replay reveals the deal, baby. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. Way off target. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. See who responds how out of the timeout, Brad. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. Number three to the line for the one and one. He makes the front end of the one and one. the second shot. They're shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. He strokes it. He's making just terrible choices shooting the ball. He's got to settle down, man. Settle like cat down. Got an open look if he wants it. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Ten on the shot clock. Shot clock is dead. And a momentary look from three-point land. Rims out. Just 
keep rolling along, Dick. We kind of expected it would go this way, and they came out on top of the ball game. I'll tell you, they always find a way to regroup when everything's getting really tough. They regroup and they make sure the ball is in the hands of the right people. Duke wins a game that was never really close. Well, they came into favorites, and they did not disappoint. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.